What's up, you all? It has requested celebrity singing with their real voice. Hopefully, this is real raw, real um uncontrived. So let's get right into it. Ryan Tiller. Okay. Say, yeah. come on with the low. Chris can sing, that's for sure. He's got a nice tone. Very young, pure tone to him. He gives me the vibes of a younger Chris Brown. Honestly. Nice transition there. That's nice. She's kind of like every black sister or cousin ever, you know, but it's not bad. It's kind of average. Nice transition there. gotta say with her and this is all just based off of these short clips because I'm not familiar got a few people to see a few people I've seen but um, I believe SZA that's how you pronounce the last woman's name she was at the end of the Black Panther movie I love that song all the stars or something like that I love her voice on that but here it's not really a great showing for her I feel I feel that particular performance would, if that's all I heard of her, I would put her even below Rihanna, you know, because uh, it was just like it took a lot of effort for her to do the most basic things, you know, just to sing on key. And, you know, I don't know, you know, but, yeah. Okay. some support there, some power, uh, some resonance there towards especially the, the last belt. And um, I like her volume control, her little vibrato. I like her you know, real sweet, powerful, and okay, okay, I like that. All right, I didn't know she could sing. I've heard this. Say. Bad, but 
we know that. <laughs> Sustain it at my bridal. Come on, Harmony. Everybody know Tamar can sing too. I'm not surprised. She's one of the best today. Nice low. Such a dope run. It was dirty. <laughs> it was dirty. Yeah. 
<laughs> she's one of the naturally I don't believe she's trained classically or anything like that correct me if I'm wrong but she is naturally one of the most savage and vicious um, versatile vocalists period she is one of the most savage she's she's one of the most savage of the savage singers as I call them um, just disrespectful everything from her runs um, her ear um, her range high and low um, the support the power there that was there was crazy um, and just, just just her power um, no matter which note and her transitions ooh it's just it's just it's, it, it, it ain't right her transitions aren't right her head voice isn't right let's continue it, it just don't make no sense you know what I'm saying some people just got too much talent <laughs> Say, hey, I guess she guided that whistle. With it. I like that. <laughs> Harmonize, y'all. Sustain. Come on, Kelly. Tow that last part up. I love the sustained high, the support, the vibrato on point. I love when Kelly can get a nice note in and sustain it. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, but of course, we already know. There's a lot of people, we already know good and well can blow. I mean, we know Destiny's Child can blow. We we know Kiki is bad. Her she just has she's one of those people that you just wonder why is there so much talent in one person? You know, it's this the savagery is just we know Mariah's bad. Um she's a part of the highly, highly esteemed vocal trinity. Um I, I mean Brandy, I know I know especially when it comes to them church runs, her speed, her agility, like I said, her voice is is, is a softer um, less dramatic voice, but I mean just as agile as it can be. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Voices like that, they're not um, brash. They're they're not. They're easier to listen to for a longer period of time, uh, if you know what I mean. Like like smoother, softer, yet more agile voices. And, and I love that. Also, back to Kiki, <laughs> her transition was made. I know I already said that, but it needs to be said again. That transition was stupid. It, it, it was ridiculous, okay? And the power of the head voice. She didn't just tr slide into it soothingly. I mean, she just went like straight belt, chest belt, or mixed belt to full on volume all the way up head voice. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is very, very, very hard. And it's incredible. Um... I mean, who, who, who else? That's your child. I said, Mariah, the one over. We know she can blow. We know she's the master of the whistle. Um, we know. I mean, transitions. We, I mean, we know this in her range as well. Uh, that's your child, Beyonce. Who else? Brandy. I said. I said Brandy. Um, Ariana Grande. I know she's bad. I know she can sing. But uh, it, it's. I remember seeing that her performing. I believe in you and me. I believe I reacted to that a long time ago. And, um, I mean, I just, she kills the high notes. There's some melisma here and there that's not, and I'm really nitpicking a, a lot because Whitney, just the way she went down, um, she's, I, I, mean, I think Ariana Grande has improved on melisma though. I actually do, especially, her, well, I don't know that song I just reacted to. Only one, I can't be your only one. Like that melisma on that, even though I know that was four years ago, that's, her first album too um that was some impressive melisma but you know not all melisma is equal melisma you know what i mean um is uh, it, it's just because some one person can do a certain run and, and one can't do it doesn't mean that they're all around better melisma like i said not all melisma is equal you know um so with that in mind um that particular run some reason just 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 a few but um she's still good she, she's still she's still killed the song the high notes especially 
bodied him. And, and the ease at which she did it was um, um, just incredible. But, you know, her high notes, I mean, it's nothing for her. It's like breathing for her. Um, and, and yeah, um, I will say Rihanna, like I said, I didn't find that particular clip bad. I, I think she's improved. Um, I just thought it was, it was, um, what am I looking for? It's just average. Like I, I found her singing an ad, average, like, you know, your black sister, your black cousin, you know, they all sing like that. Um, not to be shady or rude, seriously. Um, I didn't think it was bad, but I, I thought, um, Sis, I believe, who was after her, um, she, like I said, I loved her on the Black Panther track, and, um, I believe I heard one other song from her, and I, I, I really liked it, but, um, in this particular performance, it wasn't a great show of what she can do, because I put her even at a level below Rihanna in this particular video, um, because it just didn't really show anything. It seemed like she was trying extremely hard to do the least, you know what I mean? Um, and, um, yeah, um, I mean, but other than that, um, pretty much all I can remember right now, uh, it was, it was, it, it was nice. Uh, Chris Brown, I need, I, I just say all these other male singers too, um, all these R&B singers, even now, they all remind me of Chris Brown. Like, seriously, they, I don't know if that's just a, like a common tone, um, or is that the vibe that they're going for? Is that considered the cool thing now in, in, um, you know, R&B for males now, I don't know, but I, I, I got like, um, Miguel, I believe it was, um, he, the guy who came right after Chris Brown, he sounded like a younger Chris Brown to me, you know, without all the runs and the head voice things, all that, like his vibrato and it's just a, a lighter tone and he, he sounds like a, a, a more, um, youthful Chris Brown to me. And, um, the first man in this video, um, also sounded <laughs> like a young like a young Chris Brown, you know, um, not very, I uh, wasn't too impressive, but, but his tone was very nice, like the young Chris Brown again. I don't know, I just feel like everybody today, especially male, male and people in male R&B all sound like a young Chris Brown. I'm like, are you serious? This, this isn't him? Anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> thank you for like and subscribe and please continue to for more of your favorites. Also, Chris Brown's head voice run was incredible. He, he's a beast too, versatility wise, he's a beast. Um, when you catch him on a good live performance, on a good day live, he's a really, really beast. But, you know, he's so busy dancing his butt off, which he's incredible at that, you know, and, and, and but he, he doesn't really, he's out of breath to sing live. But um, you catch him on a good day and he'll, he can kill it. He's also a great producer um, as well. I mean, I love his vibe. I love his his his, his, his whole music. Vibe. I love a lot of his music. Um, I know I'm not a fan of some of the words a little bit too much, but, you know, the music, the, 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 um, you know, the way it's arranged, it's producing, it's just, he's got a lane on his own, and I think that's why so many people in R&B now are, pretty much sound exactly like him. Even the, the, you know, the, the music itself, not just their voice, the runs, the music, it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all Chris Brown to me. Anyway, thank you for liking, subscribing, please continue to pull your favorites, babe.